All right, I've got a density demonstration for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan for gold. Panning for gold definitely uses uh, density because gold is oftentimes the heaviest thing you'll find in a river. And it will also be the last thing that will come out of a gold pan. So I have got some dirt here and I also have some lead, two lead fishing weights that I'm going to put into the pan. And you know you're good at panning if you can find the lead. Um, lead is about half the density of gold, okay? And it's about density of 11 grams per cubic centimeter. So I've got two pieces of lead here that I'm putting in there. And I also have two pieces of gold here, some beautiful gold. This is two grams of gold, probably has a worth of around $120 right now. And I'm gonna put those in the sand too. And I'm gonna see if I can pan these out. So let me shake them in, mix them in good. And now you must have water to gold pan, okay? Um, <clears throat> water helps you sort things out based on their density, okay? So the lighter things will go to the top, the things that have a density of less than water, and the denser items will go to the bottom. Um, water has a density of about one, so one gram per cubic centimeter. And anything floating is going to have a lower density than water, and it will float to the top. So as I'm mixing this all up, oftentimes when you gold pan, when you have dry dirt, you got to mix it all up good and get everything wet. And now, clearly, I have things that are floating on the surface, and I need to get those off. So I'm going to use this side of the pan to dump things out. And what you can see here is that it has riffles. These riffles collect the heavy, dense items, and they don't let it um, drop out of the pan. So here I go. I'm going to dump off the light, muddy-looking stuff, plant matter. All that plant matter has a density of less than one, and it tends to float on the surface of the water. So I'm going to pour some more water in here, and I'm going to keep sorting. That's what you have to do. You, oftentimes, when you gold pan, you have to gold pan near a river, and you need lots of water. Water is really important because it helps you sort things out based on their density. So I'm going to pour more of that dirt out. Now I'm getting to sand, and I'm getting rid of, rid of a lot of that plant material and that muddy material. I'm going to keep shaking it. You have to keep shaking the pan because you want to get the heavier items, the denser items, down to the bottom of the pan. So it's really important to shake it and get those heavy, dense items down. And I'm just moving things over the riffle, moving the sand over the riffle. And I have to keep adding more water. Like I said, it's important to have water. Oftentimes you'll see miners gold panning right at the edge of the river because that way you can keep dipping your pan into the water. So I'm going to keep running it over the riffles until I get a little bit of sand left over. Okay, I got to keep running it in maybe one or two more times. So again, it's being sorted based on density. And oh, you can start to see material show up. So if you take a look at the bottom right here, you can see the two pieces of lead and the two chunks of gold that are in there. And now I'm gonna do the last step. So the last step I call the swirl. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here and I'm gonna shake everything down to the bottom of the pan like that, tapping it with my hand. And then I'm gonna simply swirl with the water. I'm gonna swirl the sand back. And you can see there's a lot of black sand in there. Now, black sand is often found with gold. That's called magnetite. And it has a density that's greater than the other sand that it's around. So a lot of times when miners see black sand, they know that they're close to finding gold. If there's any gold in that location, they know that that would be an indicator of it. Another indicator of finding gold is if you find lead, just like I have in my pan. Um, people uh, let lead go into a river from fishing, you know, when a line gets stuck, that, that's lead that goes into the river. Also hunters shooting bullets, you know, in or around rivers, that gets lead caught in the river. And uh, if you find lead, you're even closer to finding gold than if you find the black sand. Because like I said before, lead has about half the density of gold. Um, lead is a density of 11, gold is a density of 19. 
And that is how you gold pan. It's not that difficult to do. It does take a lot of time and patience and practice. And it's all because of density that you can find gold while gold panning.